Hidden in the Andes Mountains lies a stone pathway shrouded in mystery. For centuries, this ancient route has led adventurers towards the lost ruins of Machu Picchu. But how did this marvel of engineering come to be? Join us as we uncover the forgotten origins of the legendary Inca Trail, a tiny fragment of what was once the greatest road system in the Americas. This is the story of how the Incas built a pathway that withstands the test of time. The vast Inca road network, the Inca Trail to Machu Picchu, that travelers trek today is just a tiny fragment of the vast network of roads that once stretched across the Inca Empire. This complex web of trails spanning over 23,000 kilometers was known as the Capac Nan, meaning Royal Road in the Quechua language. The Inca roads spread across the west coast of South America and high into the Andes Mountains, linking important cities and religious sites. This sophisticated transportation system allowed the Incas to administer their sprawling empire and move armies quickly. Chasqui relay runners traversed the trails, delivering messages across the empire in just days. Stone-paved highways as wide as six, eight meters ran along the coast, while narrow one-meter paths switchbacked precariously through the mountains. Accommodations called tambos provided food, lodging, and storage for officials and traders en route. The trails were an architectural wonder, crossing rivers and gorges on hanging bridges and through tunnels carved from rock. This incredible web of Inca roads was the circulatory system that connected and sustained their great civilization. Portions of it still serve modern travelers today, including the famed Inca Trail to Machu Picchu, the vital role of the Lama. The expansive Inca road system relied on a secret weapon, the hardy llama. This Andean pack animal was perfectly adapted for transporting goods over the high mountain trails. Llamas could carry supplies long distances and easily climb steep stone staircases the Incas engineered to ascend quickly. This allowed the Inca trails to take direct routes up mountainsides, rather than zigzagging gradually like contemporary European roads. Llamas provided the Inca empire with a vital transportation advantage. But llamas gave the Incas more than just a beast of burden. Their meat was a source of food, while their wool was woven into textiles. Even llama dung could be dried for fuel to cook and heat with. The loyalty and stamina of the llama enabled the Inca road network to move people and supplies efficiently throughout the far-flung empire. Caravans of hundreds of llamas connected villages across massive distances. Andean cultures had long relied on llama caravans, but the Incas expanded and perfected the system. Their road engineering allowed llamas to access new areas, facilitating trade and unifying the empire. So in many ways, the rise and fall of the Incas was tied to the fate of the Lama. This essential Andean camelid made their impressive road achievements possible. The Spanish Conquest. When the Spanish arrived in the 16th century, they were amazed by the Inca road network. The stonework and engineering of the highways impressed them. Spanish chronicler Hernando Pizarro declared, the path in of the mountains is something to see because it is built in very difficult terrain. In the Christian world, we have not seen such beautiful roads. Other accounts describe how the Inca messenger system could relay information incredibly quickly down the trails. One writer calculated that runners called Chasqui could go from Quito to Cusco, over 1,200 miles, in just five days. At the time, the Roman road system was considered a marvel of engineering but Spanish observers realized the Inca network was far more extensive, reaching over triple the length of Roman roads. The efficiency and scale of the Inca Empire's communication abilities along their road network was unprecedented in the Americas. The Spanish were also amazed by ingenious bridges woven from grass ropes and chiseled mountain tunnels along the trails. To them, the quality of Inca stonework rivaled the great European cathedrals. Even today, Historians are unlocking the secrets of how the ancient Incas managed to build such an advanced system of roads across thousands of miles of challenging terrain. Rediscovering the Inca Trail. The Inca Trail may have fallen out of use for centuries before it was brought back to light by explorer Hiram Bingham in 1915. Bingham was on a quest to find the legendary lost city of the Incas, known as Vilcabamba. After learning of ruins at Machu Picchu from a local farmer, Bingham organized an expedition to reach the site. Clearing and excavating through overgrown vegetation, he discovered a sophisticated paved road leading from the sacred valley towards Machu Picchu. Bingham realized this ancient highway was part of an Inca pilgrimage route to their sacred citadel. The quality of stonework indicated the road was specially built for royalty and religious leaders, 
not for commercial trade. Analysis showed the Inca Trail was likely used in the 15th century by the Inca Emperor Pachacutec and his entourage to access Machu Picchu for ceremonies. The trail cleverly incorporates tributaries and springs to provide water access along the way. Bingham's surveys of the finely engineered road proved Machu Picchu was not just an isolated outpost, but connected via the Inca Trail to the empire's broader landscape of spirituality and power. His discovery brought enduring worldwide fame to the Inca Trail as the Royal Road to the Lost City. Trekking the Historic Trail Today, the famous Inca Trail consists of a 43-kilometer path through the Andes leading directly to Machu Picchu. The classic four-day trek starts at kilometer 82, following original Inca stonework past several ruins and incredible mountainscapes. On the first day, hikers climb up to the ruins of Lactapata for panoramic views, the second day traverses over high mountain passes to the archaeological sites of Runkurakai, Sayak Marka, and Puyupatamarka. Each contains ceremonial baths, temples, and fountains in the classic Inca imperial style. The third day descends into cloud forest filled with orchids and hummingbirds. The trail reaches the impressive site of Winaywena, whose name means forever young in Quechua. The final day passes through the Sun Gate to glimpse Machu Picchu at sunrise after the challenging but rewarding trek. It's clear the Inca Trail was more than just a road. It was a spiritual journey. The Incas likely stopped to make offerings to sacred peaks called Apis along the way. Rituals welcoming the rising sun and honoring mountains like Veronica and Huacaywilca gave the trail a deeper purpose beyond transit. The Inca Trail blends breathless mountain scenery, lush cloud forest, gushing rivers, and mysterious ancient sites. Hiking it gives a tiny glimpse into the Inca worldview by experiencing the sacred geography they imbued with magic and meaning. Over 10,000 adventure seekers a year now flock to trek the historic Inca Trail. Permits are required to regulate traffic on the increasingly popular route. Porters and guides accompany trekkers to carry gear and explain the sacred sites along the way. Planning your Inca Trail adventure the classic four-day Inca trail trek is challenging but achievable for fit hikers. For those short on time, there are abbreviated one to three-day trail options skipping some distances and ruins. Luxury tours provide gourmet meals in dining tents and hotel accommodations instead of camping. Many tour companies offer private, customizable tours for individuals, groups, and families. You can select the itinerary, pace, and style to match your interests and fitness level. Porters, cooks, and knowledgeable guides enhance the cultural experience. Aside from permits, the main limitation is that only 500 people total are allowed to begin the Inca Trail each day. Booking four to six months in advance is recommended to secure a spot. Walking the Inca Trail remains a bucket list accomplishment for travelers from around the world. To tread the same stone pathways as Inca kings, glimpse the symmetry of sacred Incan architecture, and absorb the energy of the mountains is an unforgettable adventure. The Inca Trail represents the ingenuity and spirituality of Inca engineering. After learning about its history, are you inspired to walk in the footsteps of ancient Incas? Don't forget to subscribe and join us on the next adventure at Archaeotrek.